It's admission season and I wanted to make a video and share my portfolio with the interwebs just in case anybody is looking for a point of reference because I know when I was doing the process of my admission into art school I was looking at a lot of videos of other people's like accepted portfolios and I really want to share mine so yeah just a little context, I'm a first year student at École des Beaux-Arts in Paris. I'm an international student and I'm almost done with my first year. It's like the middle of second semester right now. So I went through the process of admission and sent in my portfolio basically about a year ago now. So it's been very recent and even though I don't really use this portfolio anymore this was my like admission into art school and i got accepted so yeah let's discuss so the first page on my portfolio was actually like a cover page um it basically just says dossier artistique which is like portfolio but it kind of means like artistic document it's what a lot of French art schools call their portfolio when they're asking for it, so... And it says my name and the school I was applying for, which was École des Beaux-Arts. You don't really need to specify what school it is because you're sending it to them, so they'll know it's for them. But I just did it because literally no reason. The background of the cover page is a little digital painting I did, which is actually a cover for one of my little EPs, which... You can stream but yeah there's not much going on other than this was my point of reference for the colorway of my portfolio a lot of people don't really put attention to the design and layout of their portfolio and mine is very simple too but all of the colors that i use throughout the portfolio for the backgrounds and for the texts I, I dropped all of them from this one cover page just because i really like the colors in this and i think it added a certain level of like cohesivity cohesiveness moving on to the first actual piece that i included this is an oil painting it's titled you will blossom again and it was one of my most recent works at the time of applying to school and it was something that I was really proud of which is why I included it first and foremost because a point that I kept hearing everywhere is that you want to leave an impact while they open your portfolio and while they're done with it so I put one of my favorite pieces at the front just to kind of like introduce them to my work and I think this is actually a very good like general like idea of what my work is the subject matter the colors the symbolism the imagery it's all very like reminiscent of this style that I enjoy I think it was a good start uh, in every page you will notice that I included the actual piece very big and visible but also the title of the piece the medium the size and the year that it was made besides all of that information because i was doing my portfolio process online and i was just sending them this file and not presenting my portfolio i included a little paragraph describing different things throughout the pieces some of them i talked more about the technique the idea behind it why i did it and in some of them i talked about what inspired me to make the piece um what like media or artists it was inspired by or what subject matter it was conveying so it's just different descriptions of the pieces the second piece i included was a digital painting which was a drawing of cassie from euphoria and once again it includes all the information the fact that it's a digital work so for the digital pieces i replaced the dimensions with um, the software that i used to make it so for this one it was adobe photoshop and the year of creation which was 2022 again i really enjoyed the imagery of the second season of euphoria 
area i think it's beautiful and it really impacts the audience which is why i wanted to paint it in order to kind of understand that process of conveying a feeling to the audience through painting it at this point i've already introduced them to kind of like my style and aesthetic and what i'm interested in as well as the fact that i work both traditional mediums like oil painting and digitally the next piece is a little sneak in of some anatomy just because i wanted to get across different like areas of art whether it was drawing painting sketching all of that and i wanted to somehow include them in my portfolio this piece is an example of that it's a very quick figure drawing session i think of like one minute ink sketches i did of a few photos but then i went back in and i made it into this like cohesive piece with a message behind it using watercolors and gouache so it started as a few figure drawings and it ended as like a more cohesive actual work of art um just because i'm not super interested in anatomy or at least i wasn't at this point it's funny because my drawing class that i take now is an anatomy class so that very much changed but at the time i wasn't super interested in anatomy but i wanted to include it somehow and i tied it in into this like watercolor piece and that's something that i wanted to say i guess as like a point to kind of pay attention to you don't really want to include a lot of work that isn't what you want to do I don't have page after page of like anatomy and figure drawings and technical drawings because I don't really enjoy making those. I do here and there kind of bring in the fact that I do have some technical skills in these different areas, but I do it in a way that is still very much reminiscent of my style and what I enjoy making. The next page is another digital work. It's a more graphic, like lined work, much more simpler than the other digital painting and also much simpler than the traditional works. This is La Chambre du Diable, which means the room of the devil or like the devil's room. Once again, bringing in those symbols, elements, aesthetics that I enjoy using. I just enjoy bringing in those elements into my art and I really like the colors and just like the composition of this piece. Next is The Hunt. This is a watercolor piece. Um, it's actually kind of like a rendition of this mosaic piece that I saw while studying artistry. It's a mosaic from Pella, Greece, and I honestly added it just to say that because I wanted to kind of include my interest in art history and the art of different like geographical regions and historical kind of like moments in the history of art. So that's why I included this piece. It's also very much my style and I think it makes a lot of sense in its placement in the portfolio and I really like the texture and the colors. Yeah, the next one, this is a collage, once again from 2022, it's called Dripping Roses. And this was kind of to show that I do, or at least I'm interested in stuff that isn't just painting and drawing. Like these are a bunch of different drawings kind of collage together into this graphic kind of like poster almost. I really like this. I like the skulls. This is also another instance of me sneaking in more technical drawings of the skulls and incorporating them, sneaking them in like these full pieces. The next one is actually an older piece. It's another digital one. I really enjoy the colors in this one. There's a lot of things wrong with it looking at it afterwards but it was important for me to kind of show a journey of like improvement. The hands are way too small, the shadows could be better. So there's a lot of improvements that can be done here but that's why I included it. It still has an essence of what my art is now, but it's kind of showing that like start, not a starting point, but like a few steps behind, if that makes sense. Next one is another more graphic lined digital piece. It's called Smoky Petals. I think I really was interested in showing my two different styles. It takes a long time to develop a style, but 
I have a like different approach to art based on the material that I'm using, the medium that I'm using. In my traditional works, I tend to kind of go into that more painterly, like looser, sketchier style where you can see the paintbrush, you can see the paint strokes. Um, but in my digital works, a lot of times I line things very like neatly, it's very uh, graphic and bright. So I kind of wanted to put both of those like contrasting styles into my portfolio, which is why I included the piece like Smoky Petals, which is the more I don't know what the fuck I'm saying, but you get the point. It's like different than the rest. This one is called The House is Calling and it's kind of like a rendition or I guess like a retelling of Little Red Riding Hood. I wanted to put in pieces that were inspired from different sources. Um, I wanted to show my interest in media and stories and tales and uh, different artists, different styles, different aesthetics. And I really like this piece. It's another older one, but it's very fun. I don't really do pieces like this anymore more the style the lining the colors they're not very like something that i would do normally but i like the subject and i like the idea behind it i think it was a cool piece the next one is heavily inspired by the um hunter schaefer photo shoot for paper magazine it's such a good photo shoot the euphoria x paper magazine photos they're all so good with Barbie and Hunter. Uh, and I really loved those pictures. And this is just a piece that I made based on that. It's called Mother Nature. I think I did a good job showing what I was interested in when it came to art and aesthetics, just based on what these pieces are inspired by. And I think that's fun to like put a sense of your like personality and your interests into your portfolio and like trying to kind of make a connection there. The next one is called You're My God. This is probably my, I don't know, like my most last minute piece. I wanted to, once again, like the collage, I wanted to show that I wasn't just coming to the school to draw and paint. And even though I don't really have much like sculpting or installation or like any multimedia kind of experience before, I've always been super interested in trying out those mediums and I wanted to show them that I was down to explore and experience different things, which is why I included this very last minute, but also fun kind of like, I don't even know what to call it, so I called it multimedia, because there's some drawing on paper, but there's also like these little paper sculptures, it's very rough. And I think the subject matter was very interesting. It's about religion and kind of like putting someone or something on a pedestal. And it's fun and bloody. And again, include a lot of motifs that we've seen throughout the portfolio. The subjects of like religion, the rose, the blood, the crosses, the snakes. It's very familiar at this point. Next is a little page of my comic, which is still a work in progress, Daughter of the Moon. I wanted to show some personal projects and I wanted to show them that I had long term, more like planned out projects in mind that I was working on. Um, that's why I included this. It's like graphic novel slash comic style, very different to the paintings and drawings. Next one is It's Okay to Cry, which is a drawing I did of Sophie uh, when she passed in 2021. This one has a bigger paragraph of description as you can see because I wanted to explain what the piece was about because I think it's very important. Yeah, it was just about how I a lot of times do tend to put my feelings into art as like an expression of those sentiments rather than other methods of working out through those emotions. And yeah, I really do like this piece. Next is 176. Uh, this is a more political one, but also in the same realm of like putting emotions into art. 
Um, I did this after the tragic situation with the Ukrainian plane that crashed in 2020. Uh, and 176 people passed in that accident and I wanted- well, it wasn't an accident. But 176 people passed and that's the title of the piece. Um, looking at it solely artistically, I really like the texture and colors in this one. Uh, it's not a traditional piece, it's watercolor and also colored pencil on the background and some of the details. And yeah, overall it's just a more important piece to me, even though it's not very thought out and very like precise. This one is the drawing that I don't really like as a full body of work. Just because the background is like so... it's like giving nothing like at all it's just like random colors with that being said i really 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 liked the treatment of light in this one i wanted to put it in there solely because of the technical aspect of it i introduced it in the paragraph as like a study on reflection and light which is basically what this was um and yeah i really like it because of that and last but not least because of that one tip. You want to start with strong pieces and end with strong pieces. So this is another one of my favorites. I did this in 2021. I think this was like the third, yeah, this was the third oil painting I've ever done. And it's supposed to be a collection of paintings that I never got around to making about the connection between people that don't necessarily know each other based on things that they've done, things that they've seen, things that they've said or experienced. That was kind of the concept of a whole collection that I might get around to doing someday, but this is one of the pieces that are connected with the eyes and parts of their face. And I really enjoy this one, just like visually it's very appealing and I like the message of that like connection. And I think the colors are really cool too, I would like the yellow. So that's the piece that I ended it on. I've been talking for like 30 minutes and I feel like I don't recognize my voice anymore. Yeah, but that was my portfolio. Generally speaking, I guess it was a good one because they accepted it and then I had an interview, but it could be much better at this point from my point of view. Like looking back at it, there's a lot of things that I would change. I eventually did make another portfolio much simpler, but with different pieces and some of the same ones, and it didn't have the uh, descriptions. I made that one for the like process of getting into an atelier, which is a process very much unique to the French art school. It's very different, I will put it up here somewhere so you can see that one as well. Um, and with that being said, I'm also making a new portfolio right now just a more general one not for admission into something not for a certain project or anything just a full body of like selected works that i enjoy i don't know if there's anything else that i want to add a few tips that i would say is try to show what you're interested in while also trying to show what you're good at so don't solely like rely on what you're really really good at because they're not really looking for perfect artists you're going to school at the end of the day so try to like show them that you're interested in different mediums and different fields of art if you are of course so yeah this video was like a more general one around just the portfolio section of admissions i don't know if anybody will be interested in like the actual admission process of a french art school specifically but that was my portfolio which got me accepted kind of surreal kind of fun i can't believe i live in paris it's very exciting i think i'm finally settled in and feel very comfortable that's all hopefully i will see you guys soon um i've been making a lot of vlogs and not a lot of like different videos and i do have a bunch of videos that i really want to make and like subjects that i really want to talk about so i might get around to filming those but yeah i hope you got something out of this if you're interested into going to art school or just enjoyed looking at my art or something i don't know but until next time bye